you guys, they're either trying to kill us or they're trying to make us all slaves or they're trying to kill us. No other explanation. Because my thing is, if you're going to keep raising the price of housing, but then you want to criminalize homelessness or there's a war coming. I think it might be all three. Oh God, you guys, this is so fucking scary. Okay, so let's, like, here's the facts. AI's fucking taken over. Trad wives are officially so back. Um, debt crazy, Clarnock crazy, afterpay crazy. What? Uh, what? College, arm and a leg. House, arm and a leg. Nobody owns a home. Everybody's routing. Whatever the fuck the word is. Polycules. Ah! You guys, this is crazy. Okay. Here's my exit strategy. Because these bitches are talking about, you have to have an exit strategy. Here's my exit strategy. Take to the river. Take to the fucking river and never look back. Join the fucking circus. Guys, there's no... Here's my... Here's the scary part. Here's the scary thing to me. There is no feasible way to have an exit strategy without... With everything having barriers to entry. Trade school costs like 50k a year. College costs like 50k a year. Fucking on the job training non-existent unless it's specialized to that specific position and company so that you literally can never take your skills and put them elsewhere and then on top of that companies will have technology that's specific to their own operations for the sole reason of making it so that you can't take those skills and go anywhere else with them teaching gonna get killed student gonna get killed like what it's like if I learn how to code, if I ever take a break from it for like a year, I will spend the next decade, even half a decade, even a fifth of a decade. But long story short, there will be a multiple, yeah, a, what's the word? A multiplicative factor of how much time I will have to spend. Like, oh my God, you guys. Just chilling the fuck out. And they're trying to kill us all. And then living off the grid is fucking illegal. I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to learn tax code and live off the grid and just apply to a ton of grants or just, I don't fucking know you guys. I have to start collecting rainwater, but there's computers and fucking everything. I don't even know what the hell to do. I'm kidding, but really only halfway because I'm like, true shit, it is scary how literally everything is fucking automated. I'm like, I don't want an AI cashier at all, actually. Like, that does not interest me, like, at all, you guys. This is fucking creepy. This is all that's freaking me out, if you can't tell. I either have to write a world-changing, a world-shattering book and then never have kids or die young. Either way, things are looking pretty grim, you guys. I don't even know. And then on top of that, it's like, how does one... E oh my god. They ha should have a live off the grid grant. And then I spend the rest of... Well, actually, wait. If I have solar panels, could I generate my own... Yeah, low-key. Yeah! Wait, isn't that the whole point of them? I could generate my... Oh my god, I have to look into that. Oh my god. It's so many flying, moving factors. I'm so fucking confused. I'm so worried and I'm overcome and I want to hang out with my friends. I want to live like I don't see myself living alone ever. That's already something checked off the box. I don't also I also don't see myself being married. I also don't see myself having kids. I would have kids if it didn't cost so much money. And if there weren't too many people on earth anyways. So <laughs> Bitch, shut up. Oh, I don't like telling myself to shut up. It feels very, very, what's the word? Pernicious? No. Is that a word? That has to be a word. Pernicious. Yeah, pernicious. Hell yeah, bitch. Hell yeah, pernicious. Definition. I didn't say per anything about pernicious anemia is the funny part. So I don't know why pernicious. Yes, it's very pernicious. Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. It's very pernicious. It was very pernicious 
multiplicative effect on the psyche. <laughs> I need to write a book, you guys. I need to write a fucking book, or I need to make a really, really good sex tape, like Kim K style. I'm like, what other? Like those are right now. Writing a really good book, making a really good sex tape, or being hit by a really nice car. That is the three-tiered American dream. <laughs> or winning the fucking lottery. I don't even know. Oh, my God, you guys. This is so fucking freaky. <laughs> we are literally living through a fucking, like, we are living through a technological revolution. We're living through a fucking um, uh, political, like, uh, that's not true everybody's <laughs> but we're living through so many different moving changes and I feel like I think the issue is we are, are not having revolutions I think that's one of the big issues that nothing is fucking changing people are sitting at their fucking desk jobs just talking about bitch what we are getting killed every day we are dying more and more and more and I'm like this is freaky like yes like no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's just freaky, you guys. It's freaky. And I don't know what the hell to do. I'm taking a year off of school because I can't stomach going into exorbitant amounts of debt for this goddamned degree. Because at first I was like, okay, you know what? I have probably a couple years to get my shit right. Since 2020, rent prices... <coughs> Hindsight 2020. <laughs> Hindsight, fucking 2020. I don't know. But low-key, it's only been a year. And I don't have any... You know what I think? Anywhere that my debt doesn't matter, I'm just not going to pay it. Ooh. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Do I just say fuck it and become a trad wife? Huh? Guys, what? And live in... And live in absolute financially secure agony for the next two to three decades. Inevitably ending in a terrible divorce. You guys, is that the American dream? The new normal? My god. The fuck is going on lately? Ah! I'm like, how does one even start to conceptualize how any of this is supposed to pan out? I'm like, I can't make my exit strategy because I don't have my inner strategy. Like, bitch still doesn't got a career. Huh. Let's talk about that. I think, here's my plan. Real life. Okay. Leveling it all off. Real life. Here's the realest fucking deal. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to independent contract all of the work that I do. Right now, I'm independently contracted for this woman and I just help her with her business pursuits. I think I'm just going to keep doing that for different entities. And once I learn tax code and get some grants or whatever the fuck, you guys, I don't even know. Uh, as soon as I learn tax code, I could get these bitches write-offs. I don't even fucking know. But I'm like, oh my God. There has to be some fucking loophole. There has to be some fucking tax exemption loophole. Money glitch. I need to find the fucking money glitch. I think genuinely, wait, guys, I could save 2024 if I find that fucking money glitch. Everyone's talking about, I don't know, tax code. I don't know, tax code. I can talk about, bitch. Uh, I do. I could just save the city. I could save the city. All in one night, all in one take. I could save the damn city by learning fucking tax code. Huh. This is actually fucked up and sinister. I was supposed to retire early, let alone by 103. What? They're still working until like their late 90s nowadays. Actually, I don't even know if that's happening for Actually, that definitely is happening for real. My dad is like almost 80 and he is still working, which is scary to me. Very scary to me. It is scary and it is sinister and it's disturbing. <coughs> oh my god. And the worst part is I don't even know how retirement works. 
I know that you just put money. And then they're talking about retirement uh, it might be boiled down by the time we're- What? Bitch! The fuck are you talking about? Huh? That's scary. You know? to make some media or something about this i need to do some research i need to make some fucking media uh, uh uh what the fuck is going on lately i need to maybe um maybe i mod maybe i hop on fucking tiktok get a tiktok shop whatever the fuck or maybe i should get a fucking tiktok shop you guys maybe i should tell sell chloroform to dumb bitches on tiktok shop tiktok shop child wife Lottery, getting hit by a Bugatti. American dream. I'm like, do I? There's so many moving factors. Actually, long story, long story, long story short. Oh, I have to keep this idea in my head because if I say this, I'm probably going to get killed. Next thing you know, I'm about to get killed. I have a couple ideas that I could get killed for. But, oh, I lost my phone and it's been lost for the past four days. Um, that was completely irrelevant. Okay, two plans. Okay. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Hey, fuck it. Stop. Mm. Psych. No, it's not. But it is really pissing me off, and it's concerning me greatly. I'm just so confused. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna go figure out my fucking exit strategy or whatever the fuck. Ugh. I don't blow my okay stop oh my god but it's so hard not to be so existential about this whenever literally things like this have been going the thing that concerns me is the fact that all of these western civilizations were literally built in the past like century and a half to what they are now with no insight on what the moving factors that we were going to be dealing with today were but they still benefit the same people primarily and literally every there's like an increasing number of like people at the bottom now everyone uh, like so many people are talking about everyone wants to be oppressed nowadays um read the room <laughs> read the freaking room you know it's like get a load of this guy <laughs> read the room dude but it's like scary and freaky because it's like what are we actually gonna do is my big question and I think the thing that makes it even freakier is that there is no imminent push for community organization right now which is something really big that I want to do while I'm still in the United States of America my immediate community my neighbors like my physical neighbors as well as my friends um and yeah I just want people to organize. Organize. Every other day I organize. Mm, 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 mm. Talk about that. <laughs> but, okay, I'm going to go figure out the talking exit strategy or whatever the fuck, and then we'll reconvene. Okay.